Um, I've seen several people on the uh, group talk about having trouble binding the transmitter to the copter. So I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how I do it. Um, so far, it's worked about every time. So uh, some people say turn one on versus the other first, this and that and the other. But um, this radio and this copter bind pretty intelligently. So let me show you how I do it. That way you can understand um, a little bit better, you know, how to bind it good. Now, first of all, you're going to notice that my transmitter throttle stick, I've modified it so that it returns to 50%. Uh, I did that for a number of reasons. However, the problem is whenever you go to power on the radio, it's looking for throttle off. So when you power on this radio, you have to hold the throttle down or it will give you a throttle stick warning. You also have to be carry, uh, careful when you're unlocking the motors because to unlock the motors, you pull down and to the left. And when these lights, the bind lights come on, or the, I'm sorry, the unlock lights come on, if you just let go of the stick, it's going to give it 50% throttle and it's going to shoot up. So you have to be very careful about that. So I don't suggest doing that modification unless you're you know, willing to take the uh, risk to do it. So anyway, here's what we're going to do. First things first, everything's off. Um, we're going to slide the battery switch to on. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hold the stick down. But we're going to touch the battery button and power the copter on. Okay. When it beeps... Then we're going to turn the radio on. Okay. Now you give it a second to bind. And it's bound. Okay. So now I can let off my stick or I can let my radio go ahead and power up the rest of the way. Um, just to show you that it is properly bound, we're going to arm the motors. Okay. Now. With this spring mod, if I let go, this props will spin up. So I'm just going to go ahead and unbind them there. So uh, we'll do it again just to show you how simple it is. Uh, first of all, you're going to slide the battery switch to on. You're going to power the copter up until it beeps. And then you're going to power your radio on. It's going to blink a few times and it's bound. So try this method, see if it works for you. It works for me every single time. Uh, we'll bind again or we'll unlock again and we will lock again. So with that being said, happy flying.